Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic care for your Goliath beetle larva. So here is a Goliath beetle larva that is between L1 to L2. First, let's go over the temperature requirement. So these guys do well between 65 degree to 78 degree. So whatever temperature that you're comfortable with, these guys like it. You need some fish pellet, basically anything that contains high portion of protein. They actually need these to grow big. I'm going to post detailed feeding instruction in my other videos. Second, you need a deli cup, something like this, not really fancy. What's more important about the container is their lid. So there has to be holes on their lid, which allowed um, enough ventilation. You're going to need medical bandage like this one and tape it over the holes. The purpose of the medical bandage is to allow some ventilation while not sealing the holes completely. This way, little harmful pests or little insects cannot get through. This is very important. Next, you need um, beetle substrate, moist beetle substrate. Um, keep in mind guys, this cannot be just any substrate. This has to be a uh, fermented wood dust because this essentially serves as their food. It takes about a couple months to make such fermented beetle substrate for them. We hand make them ourselves, so don't take any shortcut. You cannot just use easily accessible substrate like coconut fiber, eco-earth, something like that. No, it has to be fermented wood. So their setup wise, you can just set it up like this. It doesn't have to be too deep. You can place the larva here. And as you can see, the substrate is not very deep. This is actually the perfect height. You probably want the substrate to be two to three times their height at the maximum. I will go over why in the other feeding video. Also, the substrate has to be moist. How can you get the perfect moisture for your substrate? You can simply take a handful of substrate, squeeze it firmly, open your hand, and then the substrate will form blocks. And these blocks will not disassemble easily. And no water should drip. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you next time soon.